tell you. So first Wednesday of every month in South Africa, our petrol price goes well, up or down, depending on what's happened with the oil price and, and, and that rand dollar exchange rate. Tomorrow, 5th of August, we've got a price decrease, a fairly chunky one, taking us down to low 13 rands a litre, depending whether you live on the coast or up at the reef. Q, lots of excitement. Yay, petrol's going down, everything's lovely. Of course, when it goes up, Q, lots of anxiety, unhappiness, complaints about all sorts of things. Truth of the matter is, the actual petrol price, we've got no control over. It goes up, it goes down, it's the oil, it's the rand, it's the taxes. But what we do have control over is, frankly, how much petrol we use. And if you run those numbers, my car does 8, eight litres per 100 kilometres. The current petrol price, that's about a rand per kilometre on petrol alone. That's excluding cost of the car, depreciation, wear and tear, tyres, maintenance. A rand on petrol. Now, in the last five or six years, that has doubled from 50 cents. What we can do is think about how often we drive, how often we go places, how often do we get in our car and just randomly go the 25 k's down the road and back again to, I don't know, buy tomatoes or whatever the case may be. It's that cost. Perhaps we should stop and see if there aren't ways we could simply use our car less. Lift clubs, lift to work, whatever, the, walking to the shop, if it's close enough. Public transport. I don't know, in South Africa, we hate public transport. But it's out there, it's an option. And we've got to control these expenses. If I can do 300 kilometers less per month in driving, from saving a little bit here or a little bit there, that gives me 300 rand a month that I can go and put in an exchange traded fund. That can actually make us some money. So I think we need to think about this. We need to start pondering about our driving habits. In South Africa, we love our cars, we get in them, we drive places. I think, say, hang on a second, are there ways we can do this cleverer? Are there ways we can perhaps save small bits? I'm not going to get rich from it, but we can certainly save a little bit. Tomorrow on Wednesday, we'll do an infographic at blog justonelap.com where we will have a look at the petrol price over the last seven or eight years. And frankly, it's a scary thing.